Greetings and hello, Chris here with another Brizzy tutorial and today I'm going to show you how you can work with overlapping elements. So um, let's start directly into the scene. First of all we need a row. These are our two elements we want to overlap. So to be able to overlap everything I want on the right row uh, my text and on the left row I want a picture. So let's create some text first with the lorem ipsum generator and let's add this text here. One, two, three, four. So this is now our text and we're going to add an image here. Okay, so um, to make this, this effect uh, look a little bit better, first of all, we have to design a little bit our row here on the right side. So to do that, I'm adding uh, uh, overlay, border, and we're casting a shadow. Let's make the border two pixels wide. This looks already pretty nice. And um, let's add round the corners. So this now is our um, text block. And what we want to do, we want this image partly on top of this text block. So uh, first of all, uh, I'm telling Brizzy to put this image right in the middle. And so we move now our image over to this side. Uh, first of all, we'll let's add a drop shadow to the image. So we have here also a nice 3D um, effect. And then you go into settings, more settings. And here is the thing we do now with the margin. We push the left margin to top 100 and the right margin we took uh, to minus 100. Whoops. Okay, now we moved our image 100 pixel to the right side. Um, that worked pretty nice. So what we have now here, um, we have our text and as you can see our image is not on top of um, our uh, right row. So what we also need to do, click the image, go into its settings and in the advanced tab you see here the in, uh, Z index. Um, that's the, the third um, angle so to say and with the Z index um, you define how uh, far um, the, the element is in the background. So by rising the Z index, you see now our image is on top of everything. So next thing we need to do, we have now our image covering some of the text. So let's jump into this, this text field. And we move this over here. And we do the same down here. Moving the text over here. So this looks nice. Now let's enlarge our image a little bit. And basically that's it. Now you have our image on top of the text block. The text still can be read. And um, yeah, you have now an overlaying element.